Dave Von Thoss TV here at the Archimedes Division in the World Championship here at 987 High Rollers. What an amazing team so far. Two regional wins under their belt. Really excited about their amazing robot, their climber, funnel, and their armored shooter mechanism right here on Behind the Bumpers. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Build your alliance with so many other FIRST alumni who go to Kettering University. Every student at Kettering experiences their cutting-edge co-op programs that seamlessly blend the professional and academic worlds. Kettering co-ops are a fully immersive working experience at the leading edge of industry. Head on over to Kettering.edu slash FIRST to learn more about their incredible programs and to get more information. Earn up to a $5,000 sponsorship for your team or a $2,000 individual prize when you provide a video submission to the Altair Global Student Contest at altair.com slash contest. You can build better robots faster with Altair tools and provide multiple video submissions for the contest. Download Altair tools for free. Scan the QR code or go to altair.com slash contest for further details. Dom, start us off. Talk about your climber mechanism that you guys have over here. Able to come out. Talk to us more about that. Oh, so our climber mechanism works by, we have this thing that we like to call a dong, which allows us to have a pivot point for on the bottom of the cage where that center of the hole is. So it allows us to pivot this because since our elevator is directly in the center, it helps us reside the, the chain right about here. So as you see, when we enable, we like, we like to start first of extending this part out. And we have this flap door for our intake, which allows us to enable so the coral, not the coral, the chain gets out of the way. And then we, as soon as the cage locks in from the every bond climber that we use, then we release the dong, which then allows us to have the pivot point right under here. And then we just winch back and just climb. So something really nice is that about that this hinge just allows us to just have quick intake and just extremely nice. From, from there, let's talk about your funnel mechanism that you guys have over here. You mentioned about it being able to fold up for your climb. Talk more about the funnel. Our funnel is just a simple design. It just allows us to have at least one, one and one and a half maybe coral distance, which allows us to um, just quickly intake. You know, simple, sweet, and it's just been the most efficient that we had. All right, then let's hand it off to Parker to talk about your uh, arm that you guys have over here. All right, so we actually just changed this from our last two regionals. We redesigned the whole top mechanism to be able to accompany horizontal corals for L1. Okay, we have these inner wheels are only for grabbing the algae. These bottom ones don't even touch the coral. These are just regular compliant wheels, but we cut out the inner sections so they can bend and be even more compliant to grab the coral. The middle walls, middle wheels, grab the algae really well. We actually found that it grabs it better when the ball is off center. So we purposely go to the to the side of the ball to not grab it in the middle. So before we had another mechanism right here. There's another wheel set right here that would do our L1, but we found it wasn't very consistent and we just wanted to make a better mechanism. So now this is very good at grabbing off the ground and scoring an L1, it's very consistent. It's worked for us well. And it even has a better grip on the ball than our last mechanism. What amazing arm mechanism you guys have and really love that it's able to work with both uh, game pieces. Now let's hand off to Maktar. Talk about your shooter and your elevator that you guys have and it's able to work really well. Yeah, so starting off this season, we actually developed a into belt continuously strung elevator based on the high tide elevator from 2023, like a lot of other teams. Um, so that houses all of our scoring mechanisms besides our climber. Um, so like a big mechanism for us is our shooter. So if we would load it, the shooter gets loaded through the funnel and then it stages. So to save time on lifting, our shooter actually lifts the second of corals in the shooter and then we can score all levels of the reef. Let's try level three. So the continuous elevator will just move the elevator to level three. Yeah. It'll just move the elevator one by one, come down, shoot, just shoot it. The coral. Oh, it's on mine. Right, sorry. Then the coral shoots and then we do the same thing for barge algae, but we bring the arm out, barge. Yeah. Coming down. So yeah, this whole thing is brought together by that. Our shooter is just these three inch compliant wheels with a can range to stop the coral. And then these two inch compliant wheels just to have less compression as it comes in and needs to transition very well. Uh, pretty simple. 
our plates are actually intertwined with our algae gearbox plate. Um, this Originally, this plate was entirely aluminum. And then we found like due to weight concerns that we could just puzzle piece the plates together. So this is 3 16 polycarb and this is quarter inch aluminum. A lot of machining that must have been yeah. gone into it. Yeah. Uh, talk about your our, your software that you also have. You mentioned about the can range. Talk about other uh, software that is special about your robot. Yeah, one big thing since we built such a simple robot this year, we do a lot of software optimization. Um, so first thing, we have two limelight fours for alignment that are offset the distance from the reef pipes. So in our just drive base, we have two limelight fours just sitting there. And we just, we do two basic 2D centering at first, switch to 3D, but found it was like, this was as simple as you could get your alignment. Um, we reduce the amount of sensors we use, which is like almost counterintuitive, but we like to have a stateless robot. So if we enable the robot, you're gonna see that all the wheels are always spinning, right? If I hold this, it'll stop, it'll lift. Right, so the idea is that the robot doesn't need to know if there's a game piece in the robot. It just needs to react to these basic cues, like if the wheels have find some basic resistance. Um, just for like driving in general, we found that we like to have like an autonomous driver for our autonomous period. So in our auto period, we actually use all of our tele app functions in auto. So we basically say at this point in the path, do what would happen if you click this button. So we replace the joystick value with a path, and then we replace the button clicks with just a Boolean. So all of our commands are Boolean, um, and that's just how our robot works. And we keep it stateless and consistent between teleop and autonomous. Well, 987 High Rollers, thank you guys th so yeah. much for taking the time to walk us through your amazing robot. Again, two regional wins under your belt. So excited to see you guys can be here, here at the championship. Good luck to you guys. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date on future fun videos. Earn up to a $5,000 sponsorship for your team or $2,000 individual prize when you provide a video submission to the Altair Global Student Contest at altair.com contest. You can build better robots faster with Altair tools and provide multiple video submissions for the contest. Download Altair tools for free, scan the QR code, or go to altair.com contest for further details. Build your alliance with so many other FIRST alumni who go to Kettering University. Every student at Kettering experiences their cutting-edge co-op programs that seamlessly blend the professional and academic worlds. Kettering co-ops are a fully immersive working experience at the leading edge of industry. Head on over to kettering.edu first to learn more about their incredible programs and to get more information.